hello friends i have list of customers with their name address order status and the email ids my task is to send an email updating their order status using this template available in the word so i have created this wonderful vba code by using i'm sending the email using that template through the outlook i just click over here so it sent four messages now i have received all the four emails this is the name address and their status so if you want to create such codes watch the video till the end if you are new to our channel please subscribe it, like the video and do comment so let me explain the complete procedure and the vba code so here i have a list of customers and i have created one cell in which i saved the complete path of the template file so that every time whenever you want to update your template or you want to create the new template you just create it and give the path in this cell so there is no need to do with the code so you can work as a front end user or you can create such template and you can give it to somebody else so after this you have to come to the developer tab click the visual basic and uh, make sure your file is saved as a VBA macro enabled workbook so that the macro can work in it and uh, select the file and the, the type of file you can see Excel SM select that one and click on the insert and select the module you will get this module and then start typing your code over here on the right hand side so first of all we will type our sub procedure give the name of your uh, project in this case it is uh, send emails now i will declare one no, not one it's four dim declarations so we are telling the system is that we are going to use the outlook application and the word application so this is the name we have given and this is the type we have given if this code is not coming automatically so you have to uh, enable the library so click on the tool come to the reference and go to the Microsoft so the name should be a little bit different uh, this version can be different depends on the MS office installed in your system so you select the Microsoft Outlook and the word library uh, select that one and press OK then only you can use the features the library of the outlook and the word so here i have defined the dim statement given the name and we are telling the system that we are going to use the outlook application and we will create one email item that email item name would be olm here wd name for the word application and doc would be the new document so we have given the four dim statements now we are giving the value to these statement or the variables we have declared over here so we have set the ol to new outlook application so here we are set telling the system is that just create the one open the outlook application so this is the meaning of this statement so now we are starting the loop so that system can take the number of rows in which the data is there so that they can take their name their address their email IDs and the order status so this statement and we uh, we called it loop we are starting the loop so we are using the for loop so we have given one starting point is row number 5 5 2 then you can see sheet 1 is given So sheet 1 uh, uh, let me show you this is the sheet 1 so if it is different in your case you have to give the same name okay so sheet name dot cells dot rows count so how we are going to find how many number of rows having the data to whom we are going to send the emails so we are counting the number of rows and comma one means the first a column so it will count how many rows is there then it will go to the downside and dot end xlf so we are using up function uh, you see uh, i'll show you the practically this thing how it is working actually so we are telling the system using that particular line is that 
first go to the last cell so we are going to this last cell so first that cell comes over here then end x l up so it is coming control up you see it comes on the last cell available data so if you have data in the last row so it would come over here so it is coming over here. so the system knows how many number of rows is there so two so it will come in this case it would be eight because we are starting the point we are starting from the row number five to eight i hope you are understanding the logic behind this so now the system knows that we have to run this loop from five to eight now we have to set the value of the olm this new outlook ol dot create new item so you have to type the same thing and we have to type this new word application now we want to open the word application and we want to see that wd dot visible to true we want to see we want to display the word application and uh, the path we have already given in the excel sheet so we are giving the command to the system is that it should open the wd dot open cell value we have already defined cells 2 2 2 2 means uh, 2 means the number of rows uh, this is the number of columns so you see the value have uh, second row and the second column so this is the cell value and this cell having the path of our document which we are going to open so once it is open we want to select the complete uh, data available in this and we want to select a particular text so we are using the find function so we are selecting uh, the name we have already written uh, let me open my template so this is our template so system what the system is going to do it will select this one and replace with the value of the first row so it will replace the name with Karan and the, in the next loop it will replace with the Johar then Aditya and then Simran similarly it will replace the address order status to in this case we have used only the three variables so you if you have more than uh, more than three uh, fields or the variables so you can insert accordingly so come to our uh, code so now again I will explain we open the outlook we open the word application we have given the loop in this statement we are running from 5 to 8 system is getting number of rows the last row automatically using this statement and we open one email and we open the word application we have opened the uh, our template and then we are finding the value and we are replacing with the cell value here it is defined and we are executing the replace all so it will replace the name with the current and it is coming to the address the same logic is behind address but here we are changing the value of the cell from first column to second column r value would be the 5 in this case and then it will execute the replace here also we are updating the status and the, in this case the value is 3 and it will also replace and then we will declaring we are ending this with statement and now we are coming to the copy statement so we are selecting the complete data of this word file so after changing it is copying the file and it is opening the olm what is the olm is our outlook email which is we opened over here and now we are going to paste over here after the copy display uh, sorry because before that before the paste we have to given the email id so in the two field we are getting the email id from the sheet one cell uh, cells and r is the fifth row and fourth field and value our email is saved 
in this file so in this case it is the fifth row we are copying and we are getting this value over here and then we are changing the subject line uh, uh, we can also create this uh, subject line with the status uh, dynamically in the similar way we are giving the uh, you know the cell values over here so in in the next video i will create uh, such dynamic status and in the second thing we are editing the uh, you know text uh, or display area of the uh, of the email id so we are using the editor function and here we are pasting the values which we copied over here and then we are ending with the end statement with the email id and here we are sending so we are closing the email id we are you know closing all those things we are closing the document and we are not going to save it because it's our template so here the document value is nothing so we are not going to save it and wd dot quit means we are uh, getting close the template file and finally we are sending automatically and this is the next uh, loop uh, it is the final statement of the for loop so we are telling the system is that so after completing the one loop go to the next row third four fifth eight so once it's complete it will send automatically so now i will run this statement uh, one by one so what you can do how you do the testing of your uh, statement so you just uh, you know put aside and make some gap over here and uh, let me open the excel file over here and then uh, editor as well so now press f8 put your cursor over here on the first row press f8 so now you can see this first line is getting highlighted with the yellow color it means i am executing this line so it is going to open and you see in the background in the background you can see the word file is open and f8 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 i'm going to open send item over here so it's quite difficult to show the all things so now the word file getting copied so i will show you it was opened automatically and it is replaced and i am closing now i am executing this one so you see the new file came the new email came and address came status came and you see in the next statement it is sending automatically and now i am going to close other applications as well so i will create another one i will stop this one and this time i am sending one comment over here and now i will run once again but before that i will close all the word files so i want to show you how it is going to work so now the word file has been open yes it's open so now i will show you yes now you see how it will replace the text address now the status it's getting copied and now it's sending sorry getting the email id order status got the text and you see i 
I disabled the send button so it's not sending automatically and the system is doing the way I want now I am opening another one so you see this time the customer name is different and the status is also different so by that way you can send the unlimited message free of cost using this wonderful code so dear friend you can type this code i have already explained if you have any query you can do comment and contact me the my details or the email ids are given in the description box hope you will find this uh, video useful for you helpful for you thank you for watching the video please come back again for such wonderful videos